Hey everyone, uh, it's TV dinner time. Kick back, relax. Uh, we're still talking about bodies. Today we're talking about episodes five and six. So we'll get into it. And did you see that this is a it, Netflix shows it as a limited series? Yes. So most of the times I see limited series, they only do like one season of it. One season. So there's possibly like this is where it's going to end. I'm and cool with that. I'm cool I, with that. It's very complex. Yeah. Kind of show going on and everything, and I'm like, I don't even know where they can take it after this. <laughs> yeah. Like Fringe was complex, but this is way more complex. Like you got multiple timelines and all kinds of craziness. And yeah, now right, we see right. the result of the timelines and the time travel in these two episodes. Yeah, so we finally saw what this like big explosion was in 2023. Mm-hmm. which just so happened to be an atom bomb, right? That was like built two years before the first atom bomb was used. <laughs> yeah. So it was that. And, and we found out about the um, the street light that kept exploding. Yes. So that was the... The, the bullet. The, 2050. Was that the bullet or was that this, this them kind of showing up into the the, the time? I think it was a mix. Oh, actually, no, because the bullet fell in the time machine, so it didn't actually. But it, it felt like they tried to tie the two together. Like as he was going to a new timeline, the bullet was hitting him, so it almost felt like it was possibly the bullet that struck the the light. But I could be wrong. A lot of right. little things happened in like five, six. Eh. Well, it's funny because like we were just saying it before we got onto this call, where six comes off as kind of boring. Yeah. Um, but but to be honest, they they tell you a lot of things. Like you have this grand thing that the the kid is then in this kind of like mental struggle with the detective from twenty twenty three of like mm-hmm. who is going to not push the button or who is going to push the button and everything, or yeah. all this other stuff. So you do get a lot of what's going on, but I don't know. It's just like the pacing's weird or something. It just kind of yeah. got boring. I was out of it. Like I told you, I was and... gardening. I was, had gardened before I watched the episode, <laughs> so I was kind of in and out the zone of watching it. And it, but yeah, it didn't like it didn't pull my focus. Like, oh, what just happened? Let me let me let me watch that again, or let me pause it and try to figure out what just happened. It was kind of just like, all right, cool, that happened. Let's finish this episode. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you just kind of want to see, all right, the okay, we saw that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> what's That's next? How it felt. Yeah. Nothing. I, I think you. the only, the only good thing, I feel like the only good thing that, uh, that episode six did for me was that opening where like she finally figured out, like, there's this vault that they gave her the key. She's going with with like like Europe's version of Homeland Security or something, basically, um, to see what's inside that vault. And yeah. there's like this suspense when like she opens the door and it's very close to her face. And you're like you're seeing her face kind of react to like, what the hell is she seeing? So there's mm-hmm. that suspense. Where you're like, holy crap. Like, what is in there? You suspect a bomb, but you're like, yes. she could be looking at anything. She could be looking at some dude tied up or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then the phone rings. <laughs> yeah. Was that, that was a record player, right? She opened the door and then it was the record player. And, or was that? No, it was the bomb. Different? Oh, okay. That was the bomb. Okay. Yeah. So in episode Wait, six, she, she opens with- the, the vault and then there's the bomb that looks like it's from uh, the Dark Knight Rises, where Bane's kind of <laughs> lugging it out, and it's basically the same thing. <laughs> where was so I didn't understand the record. So the rich guy recorded a record back in the forties. Yeah, back in the forties. And yeah, forties. Like yeah, forties whatever. Left it for her. And but they cut to him being old, but we've seen him, we've never seen him old. We've only seen him like middle age and young, I guess. Yeah. 
So what I get from it is that he recorded multiples of those records. So because I think his like butler kind of says like, oh, there's like 52 of them that he records. Like he's recording a bunch of them before he dies. And so he's kind of like sending them out to people that he knows are in play during this whole time stuff. So one of them is this detective from 2023. But then the other one, one of them is also to his future self in 2023, who ends up becoming Harker. So that kid, Elias, is Harker. Mm -hmm. But then Harker goes back in time and then he has to set up the the timeline to then allow Elias, his younger self, to then go back and do the bombing again. So then everything plays out correctly. Okay, yeah, that's where it lost me. Yeah, I think, yeah, gardening before watching the show is not a good idea. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I hey, saw hey, all yeah. of that, but I was just like, yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is my only excitement for the day, so I'm, like, paying attention to this. <laughs> <laughs> watching every single detail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think these last, I don't know who turned on the captions on, on uh, you know how when you like turn on captions on Netflix, you're like, oh, all right now, stuck. it's just there. Like it's just yeah. been there and stuff. And so now it's just been like, I've been double duty where like I listen to it and now and I read it down. and I'm like, oh, oh, I can like see the future. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing. Like that's one of my gripes. Anytime I watch something, I cannot have the subtitles because that's where my eyes are going to go is straight to subtitles. I cannot pay attention to like. Yeah, I feel like you, you do subtitles. miss a lot of the visual of like yeah. of it, where it's like you're reading it and you're like, oh, like I what do I miss? But I don't know. But like, there's a lot that goes on. the The fifth episode definitely kind of goes more into like Harker yeah. himself. Yeah. And I feel like I wrote down a comment. Like I feel like he's someone that woken up from the Matrix and understands that there's this like other life to us. And then he's like living in a world where everyone else is asleep in the Matrix. Like he's like the one that's like, I'm aware of everything. And like he needs to do all this stuff. That's sort of what I got. That's how it felt like for him to go back in time and set himself up so that he wouldn't have to worry about like doing a a nine to five or being in that same rat race or Matrix. He definitely had seen something that woke him up to be like, oh, yeah, I'm not I'm not with this. And basically, what we find out, it's a cult that he we just knew made that, a cult. Yeah. yeah, it seemed like inevitable, but it was like yeah. five was a confirmation that there is a cult that yeah. is around this. And ever since was it eighteen ninety when he first arrives mm-hmm. is is when he starts the cult and basically kind of like continues the, it throughout yeah. until twenty fifty or whatever. I don't know what yeah. it is. Um, so yeah, they're there. They they call them like a like it's like a doomsday cult basically that like as as with many cults they all yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're just not wearing purple suits <laughs> yeah or, or some Cortezes yeah. and stuff but yeah uh, so so or, or what is it Haley Bob the the Haley's common one yeah uh, that's the purple suit yeah it's the Nike that Nike is it that suit. yeah okay mm-hmm. uh, but yeah there's a number five gives us a lot of like like more of the motives of Harker as to why yeah. he's doing all this stuff. Number six is basically a little kid that is is so taken Born. back by no one that no one loves him. And yeah. he like decides to blow up like half a million people. Patty was like, is that so bad? <laughs> like, is oh. it that bad that like you need to blow up everything? <laughs> <laughs> He's Thanos, man. Like he was like, I watched, yeah. I watched Endgame. I watched Infinity War. <laughs> It's time to make it real, but bow. Like it's a bad. <laughs> My mother bad turned way to her back it, on me, and I need to. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on, dude. Like, ran away. But why was she? So why was why was the detective not able to catch him? I thought that was like part of their training. Was like you need to run like crazy because you have to keep up with perps. 
And she let this kid. Yeah, get and she him. listens to him too. Like he was like, yeah. "Stop it there" and everything. And it's like, what? Well, like, it's like lady, he's not dialing the phone right now. Like, just yeah. tackle him and stuff, and yes. see what happens. And <laughs> yes, stop this from happening. Lady. Like, come on. Yeah, and then then you're there. That's that's why I guess she's like in 2050, all fucking bummed out and mad at herself that she let oh, it yeah. happen. It's like, well, yeah, you let them. it happen. That's what happened. Yeah, you watched it. Like, come on. You watched it play out. <laughs> I don't know. Like, where do you think uh, I don't know. seven and eight are going to go? Because it feels like they re- they revealed everything. I don't know what else they can really reveal. My thought in my head was that that basically, so so we're understanding is that he he's repeated this thousands of times Mm -hmm. that he eventually convinces his younger self to then blow up the, the whatever Europe and London and stuff. And then it cascades into their utopia that he's like the, the commander of in the future. So, so he's done this many times. And then what I'm thinking is that they showed us the inevitable outcome of what he tries to do. But what I'm guessing is the next two episodes are going to be like alternatives to that situation. Oh, like what happens when they do figure it out? Because yeah. I'm assuming they can't figure it out now because it's like, all right, he just kind of did exactly what he was supposed to do. Yeah. So I don't know. That's what I'm thinking is that it's it's all it's all going to be alternatives. So like, all right, here's here's an alternative reality where he doesn't get what he wants. But do we need two episodes of that? I don't know. Like, what? Like, what else could that could they do? Like, I'm guessing. I don't I, that know. was yeah. I was thinking they were going to show more of the detectives. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I as I was watching it, I was like, it feels like they've given us everything. What else could they give us? Like, we can end it right here at six, but I know we have two more episodes, so. I have my hopes up. Hope hopefully they pull a rabbit out the hat and it's something great, but we'll see. Yeah, and it's it, we've also seen what the detectives are all going through right now. Like that one yeah. dude from the forties is gonna get hung or hanged. Yeah, that's my guy. And too. then we're assuming the dude from eighteen ninety is also gonna because he can basically uh volunteered himself to be for the murder and everything of that guy. And then, and basically, twenty twenty three detective decided to let the little kid blow up everybody. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, and then, so w- what I'm thinking is that the detective from twenty fifty is gonna have like a change of heart. Maybe she may go in the time. Machine. She goes back in time. Yeah, and saves all. Yeah. These okay. That's what yeah. I. That's that's possibly. Yeah. She goes back. That'd be cool. And then goes back to that kind of like Mexican standoff in in, in the twenty fifty timeline where like she has a chance of killing him because now yeah. she has the knowledge mm-hmm. that she didn't have. So she's not fully brainwashed to, to like, to like just do all the dutiful things of like what the commander says that now she yeah. understands how like, he's not the, 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 the cool dude that she believes. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. She's the captain now. Yeah, true. That's so that she's also like the leader, right? Like, mm-hmm. is that, I don't know. Like that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping like her being there as the doctor or scientist went into the time machine. Hopefully, she's like, "Oh, let me go back in time because I see how this situation unfolded. Let me try to fix it." I'm ho- I'm hoping that's where they go with it. I'm cool with them showing like the alternate timelines, but I also want to see her like fix this. I can see that because it's like, all right, like what does stop her from? Like when he, when the commander or Harker decides to go into the timeline, into the time traveling machine, what stops other people around them from using it, right? Like, yeah, the thing doesn't completely break down and like stop working the moment someone yeah. goes through it. Like, like two people went through it, so it's like yeah, they also no have face to go. ID. They, yeah, so yeah, I don't know. Like, so uh, yeah, uh, that's. I guess that's a good case scenario, right? Like they kind of like change it up where like the 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 detective is the one that kind of like, all right, now I'm gonna use this for good, I guess. Yeah. We'll 
We'll see. Two more episodes. I don't know. I, I had one question. Did you understand that basically Harker going back into the timeline ends up being his own like grand, great grandfather? That makes sense. That's creepy as hell, but that does make sense. Because the detective, the head detective in 2023 is Elias's father, oh, who yeah. is a who is a a, a descendant of, of Harker, who yeah. is Elias. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, I'm going down. Like when I heard that, I was like, is this like a weird play on the monarch in uh, in England? Where like they're all related, and then they all control like the government and stuff. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's got to be a shot yeah, that, for sure. So I was like, I, yeah, like, is this like a big old like, yeah? So that's that. But then it's like that's what's that's what's the issue when you kind of have too many questions going on. You then question too much, and then you're like, yeah. all right, like there's a lot going on. So then huh, it's like now I'm like making too much of a rabbit hole for myself. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just hone in on on just the show at hand. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm excited for the next two episodes and it, it is going to end it or at least for this this season if it, yeah. it is a limited series. So it is going to end it. So I, I guess that's what's good about knowing that there's going to be an end to this and what is that end. Mm -hmm. And I think, sadly, the end uh, with everything, it can make and break the show. Like that's you can true. have a shitty end and you're like, I just wasted my time for, yes. for all this. I did that with the uh, the haunting so, on Hill House. Oh, that one? Yeah, that the one was kind of weird. Yeah, we watched like, that one. It was like super scary, but then it ends like yeah. lost where it's like, yeah. all right. That, that, it's the happiest that, thing. That's like, cool. <laughs> they're not here to hurt you. Oh, no. Yeah. They live in this house. Like, <laughs> you're scaring the shit out of me for yeah. seven episodes, like, and then this is what happens? <laughs> Get out of here. I was pissed. You basically, so yeah. as long as they don't do it where this, It's that, scary, but it ends like Casper. Yeah. Everybody high five and shit. Yeah. Come on. So we'll see. We'll see. I, and it, it it can end very well. So I, I think I'm I think hoping. that's what I'm excited about. But yeah. Fingers crossed. So, good ending. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. And 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 if anybody out there, if you've seen these last two episodes or seen episode five and six, and have any theories or like what you believe as to how this is going to end, don't spoil the ending because even though it could be out there. But let us know in the comments uh, uh, below this uh, this video, and uh, please like and subscribe to our channel, Saturday Night Popcorn.